Online Studios, and I am back with another video here, and this is a First Order Troop Transport Mock. I built this using the, some pieces from the ATM-6, and it has a full interior, a working door, a removable roof, and I'm just going to show you pretty much everything. You can see there's two custom printed First Order Executioners that I have here. So I'm just going to move these guys to the side. You can see the size of this. It's fairly large. Uh, you can see this is what it looks like when the it, it, the hatch is closed. So you can see there's some griddle here just to make the colors look less bad, I guess. I don't know. And you can just see on the sides I have a spring-loaded shooter which can obviously shoot. And then there's one on the other side, there's uh, lights here, so that if it's dark and they're making a landing, there's some griddle pieces. I built this thing here using some reference pictures from the set and from the For Force Awakens movie, because you don't really, you don't see this in The Last Jedi. Uh, there's a blaster turret up on the top, which can be removed very easily, it's only connected on three studs. There's uh, this pattern here, which I found, and there's also this one little light here. You can see there's tiles and griddle pieces and cheese slopes up there. And what you see right here is very symmetrical with the other side. And the back, you have, instead, I couldn't make enough room to find make four engines, so I just made two. That's the same, and you can see the same thing here with the stud shooter. I use these fairly newer pieces these show you I used about I think six of them to make that pattern on the side so yeah and you see the con control area on the top with a officer in it, first order officer in there there's some detailing on the side so you could see on the back of the ship you could see that this hatch opens up to reveal the officer inside and to make it easy access it's only connected on four studs so you can just have that these walls don't really come off they're not intended to these side walls this is actually meant to come off which now you can see the interior of inside and you also have some lights here. I used a technique where you have two pins here. Just kind of see that better. It looks really kind of nice. If you get this angle out of the way and you just see it like that, it's kind of nice. And right now I have nine soldiers in here six regular first order stormtroopers, two flame troopers, and a first order stormtrooper commander. I have red lights on the sides, and you can see there's guns in the back, and it, in the roof section here is only connected with two studs, which are right here and here. There you go. Now I am just going to take all of the nine minifigures out right now. So now I have all the stormtroopers out. You can see the position they were in before. Same thing. I just copied it from here. On here, you could just see how this is made. I used hinge pieces. I think in this set, it has this thing where you can lock it into place. I just didn't do that because there was just enough. And I also put these two studs right here to number one, make it look nice, and number two, so that it wouldn't go in and hit this, which would be bad. You can see the inside a little bit more. You can see there is a control panel. And there's some guns. You can see the light switch. It's just a reference to the Force Lego Star Wars Force Awakens video game. And you can see the lights a little bit better. The guns, I just used the two generic guns that Lego provides us. And you can also see that there is a little visor goggle thing, I don't know. It's usually used for snipers. But you can see that. 
It's not much to go over with this. I just used some gray plates here instead of light gray because I saw that in the Lego set it had gray like that so. And this is just the general size next to a minifigure. So you can see that's somewhat to scale maybe. It, I think it should probably if I were to make it any do anything to it I would probably make it four studs longer so it'd be out to about here and then you'd have this part I think that's what I would want to do to make me 100% happy with this like I'm happy with it and I think it's nice but it's not the most accurate thing in the world that's just yeah I just wanted to show you this uh, let me know what mock I have I should do next I have a first order ATST and I have Kylo Ren's command shell that I want to do I also have a ski speeder so hopefully I'll get to these and I also have a scarf mock which I might have uploaded if not I'm close to it so how so thanks for watching remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time